from the tank. Professional boxing board officials at ringside. The ringside judges this championship out of there. Andrew Campbell, the middleweight of the third round. He's up there. Your top end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the WBF Intercontinental Light Middleweight Championship. Your supervisor is Michael Croucher. Your referee is Charles Nation. World Championship referee, Mount Campbell. December 3, 2004. Five years down the track. Injuries exist in the blue corner from Mulgrave. 14 years in boxing, kickboxing. 27 fights, 15 wins, 2 draws, 3 inside distance. He's in the WBF World Title Challenger. He was the Victorian World War Champion. He was the Victorian Junior World War Champion. He was the Australian World War Just said the winner can fight for a world title. So uh, here we go. Oh, high stakes here tonight. No, is it ever? Shannon McMahon coming out of the uh, ring corner. Oh. There he's got the royal blue trunks on. And Mike Pope is doing it together. Has similar trunks on. Shannon's McMahon's trunks, however, are shredded uh, or uh, have a gap uh, down the thigh. And uh, Eddie Dillick has uh, some yellow embossed and red embossed uh, advertising on the front of his trunks, Everlast trunks. And he is wearing Eddie Dillick there with the black uh, gloves on. Uh, Shannon McMahon, red gloves. And both boys come out here at this apartment like that. Just a bit of sizing up. But Shannon looks really keyed up here to get the action going pretty quickly here. Fast pace here, fast pace. Very fast to start off here. Yeah, they're getting ready for some big action here uh, to kick off this first round of this uh, bout. Peter, how many rounds are we going again? For Ten by three for the vacant WWE Intercontinental title. Their first fight five years ago was the fight of the year, so... Uh, was, yes. I remember uh, being part of the voting panel on that, and that was uh, a no-brainer, that one that was put the fight of the year by a country mile. An absolute ripper fight. A lot of history in pedigree for both boxers. McMahon being a former welterweight Australian champion. Same with Eddie Dallas. McMahon the current IBF Pan Pacific Junior middleweight champion. So a lot of stake here tonight. Yeah, it's pretty at stake. McMahon trying to get in uh, to work uh, Dallas uh, there around the head region. Dallas got a very good defence and a nice right hand. Both boys great uh, attacking and defensive skills, both of them. And uh, Dillick pushes McMahon in on the ropes. McMahon sitting on the ropes there. The referee probably should have pulled him up there. Uh, because uh, you're not meant to be in that position. Uh, he was in a poor position there. Couldn't get back up. Dillick took advantage of it though, Peter. Well, that's what fighters do. Unless the referee's going to pull him up, they take advantage of whatever they can do. Certainly do. And you just saw then Shannon McMahon wipe his feet because he also nearly slipped in that uh, troublesome corner. 
Well, a mess in the ring there tonight, but uh, hopefully that's been sorted out. Now there goes Delegate again there with the right hand over the top there. No damage done. And uh, McMahon gets pushed to the canvas by Delic. They're smiling at each other. Well, Delic's hurt here. They're smiling. And McMahon's walked away. Something's bothering him. Headbutt. Headbutt, headbutt, was it? Slight headbutt there. And there, Delic. Yeah. Just going back there, Fraction McMahon. Just trying to work in with his uh, ripper throws and jabs and straight to left strikes. Loves to pepper his opponents with those... Uh, uh, straight lefts and right feet. He certainly does, do Now bang the way to the body. Yeah, we're getting right into it there. Back of the head. And uh, some slapping on the back of the head. Malcolm Muller must talk to the other surely about that. You would think, but he had a word to McMahon about holding. Oh. Hey. Bit of a surprise out of that uh, situation uh, from my perspective. Anyway, Delic uh, now comes in again around the side. The bell's gone. Good first uh, round. An excellent first round. I mean, pretty even to me. I mean, it's hard to split them. I thought McMahon did a lot of good jab work, Peter. But it were much of the times get the right now. So we're getting ready for round two. And uh, McMahon again bouncing around. Delic is uh, stationary in the centre of the ring. McMahon waiting for the opportunity, coming in, ready to go with that left jab again if he gets the opportunity. Delic more prepared to uh, station himself or plant himself in ring centre. And the Melbourne gets him to split again there. Cannon again. Trying to work that jab in. Delic, a very hard punch at Delic. Strong in the nice, nice strong body punch there from Delhi. Very strong punch. And what a great show it's been so far. We've seen Heath Ellis win well. We've seen it. We've seen um, Dane Terry Terramanis, Dane Campbell. Dane Campbell's going to be a big name for the future. Oh, yeah. There'll be uh, not another one of your cards coming up on, but no doubt. Shannon McMahon peppering jabs there into Delhi. It's a busy fighter, McMahon. Oh, He's yeah. always on the move and always doing something. Yeah, he has still got a left jab in there, but McMahon got three in. That, again, Shannon pursuing Delic, trying to get those jabs working. Oh, Eddie loves to bring the power into the equation. Trying to get a left hand uh, into Shannon from... Uh, uh, Say red gloves and the uh, black gloves because he's got pretty small trunks on. The blue blue trunks with white piping. Uh, Shannon's got the six stripes. Nice scoring punches there, Frank. Yep. Shannon's working well here. He's uh, trying to put score on the board by scoring jabs. Straight lefts and rights coming in on Delic, trying to break through the defence. And Delic relying on power, getting less shots in, but relying on power to cause damage. Where possible. Delic again trying to get Shannon McMahon away by slapping punches around the back of the head there. And uh, Malcolm had a word to him there. Well, Shannon's got oh, nice shots there from McMahon. Oh, beautiful shots there in that corner there, left and right. But he had the Delic pinpointed into that blue elite cranes corner there, as you see there ringside. Getting pursuing there with McMahon, but McMahon comes in again with the Delic in the headlock there, Delic. Eddie's trying to belt his way out of that headlock. Shannon coming in again there. Quick on. Tries a body shot. And uh, the, uh, uh, the upper level the left uh, right to cross there. Across the Delic's ahead. Delic's definitely playing the, uh, the counter punch in the night. The pressure counter punch in the night. Waiting to catch it moment at the end of his punches. Yeah. But, uh, it's interesting. And that uh, Shannon ripping in some... Uh, a beautiful jabs there, the body in the face. And uh, there goes the bell for the end of the round. I actually think the car won that round, but that was a good round, wasn't it, Steve? That was a good round. I think he got four scoring punches in. That will be a hit of time again. Like a little way time. Bell on the line here between these two warriors of the Australian boxing ring in Shannon McMahon, who's bouncing around, has the red gloves in, and Eddie Delic in the black gloves here, round three. Uh, so far, maybe McMahon slightly hit by a whisper so far. Delic slaps it, McMahon pushes him over. And uh, slipping situation. Uh, and uh, Malcolm Buller will wipe the gloves and get the boys 
ready to proceed here. McMahon is ready. Delic now poking out the right hand there. I thought he was about to, but uh, he held it. And McMahon again bouncing around with the right hand working into, uh, into Eddie Delic. But again, combinations from McMahon. If he keeps that up and he's about to keep doing that, he's going to score points. And he's going to need to find a way to prevent that from happening regularly. Eddie over the top, big right hand over the top, trying to clutch. And Shannon McMahon gives him a whack on the back of the head for his corner. And has a word to McMahon as well. Eddie Dellick, you're talking to Shannon McMahon. Well, there. there's a bit of feeling here, Stephen. <laughs> there's a bit of feeling. <laughs> there is some feeling. I'm not too sure what the conversation was. Well, one way conversation entailed. Uh, but Eddie Dellick, all you could say was at that point he wasn't unhappy about something, Peter. Shannon comes in, Shannon can get, uh, make a, his opponents irritable and frustrated, there's no doubt about that. Shannon comes in underneath with the left hand and uh, throws an uppercut, a couple of uppercuts there. And Dillick's working away the body furiously here, Eddie Dillick on the ropes, trying to get something and going, but McMahon ties him up. Eddie hates being tied up, and when he gets tied up, he throws leather everywhere. Well, his nickname's a psycho. <laughs> yes. But uh, he gets aggravated, and McMahon's got a cut on the side of the eye, Peter, it looks like. On the, uh, is it the left or right eye? What was that close through, Stephen? Did uh, you get to well, see? I just I didn't quite see what caused it, but it happened in that... Uh, oh, well, Dillick comes in low with the head again coming up. I don't know how it was caused, but uh, uh, possible eye cut there to McMahon. It happened on that uh, scrimmage on the ropes that we saw, but we don't know how the cut came about. McMahon's still working away! Beautifully doing it, Peter, there with the uppercut and the uh, peppering uh, delicate with punches. Now, let's have a good look at them here. Delic is in there close. Oh, he kissed by Shannon McMahon. And they smile at each other, but he gave him a kiss. And Shannon's and whispered, whispered to sweet, <laughs> sweet nothings in each other's ears. Delic swearing some of McMahon's blood on his forehead. Well, they got rubbed onto him in that uh, scrimmage. Uh, but uh, uh, they really are two warriors uh, here, and they respect each other big time. Oh, there's a lot of respect, Stephen. <laughs> They've got completely different fighting styles. Look at Delic Delic using the, the forearm. forearm there. Really, Delic is pushing him with a forearm. He didn't use it aggressively, but he did push in with it. And barges in Eddie like raging bull here, Eddie Delic. As he goes after McMurray. Like a missile, Delic. <laughs> He's a tough boy. Oh, 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 oh they're throwing ball. leather after the belt here. And Delic has a word to Shannon McMahon. McMahon's got the tongue in. And, uh, he says he want to keep going. And Delic gets moved away. And even uh, McMahon's handler there, the big fellow there in the centre of the... Johnny player. Marcos. John Marcos, is it? Uh, with what he did. But uh, no idea how that eye cut came about. But it's on the side of the eye. It's not causing Shannon McMahon any problems whatsoever. The boys touch gloves. A lot of respect. A lot of respect. The corner got wiped down well there, too. Shannon touches gloves again, and the boys are happy with the, the way things have progressed so far, so we, we start again here. But uh, maybe a marginal lead at the moment to Shannon McMahon. Possibly. Certainly on my unofficial card. Uh, I have him just slightly ahead. Eddie Dillick now working away at the body of uh, McMahon. Eddie's working in the clinches. He doesn't like to get into clinches. And when he does get into a clinch, he's going to hit Shannon every time he decides to lock him up. And he's going to give him a whack wherever, Peter. That's the name of the game, Stephen. Yeah, are playing for the Chief Stations here tonight. No, they you certainly get uh, this. The winner of this gets a go at the WBF World Title. Oh, it's, it's a big title shot, so uh, there's a lot at stake, and both boys are going to go at this Cameron Tops. Uh, what a magnificent competitor both of, them, both of them are, but Eddie Delic is a really strong competitor who will uh, keep uh, going. And I call him, not just, I like, say, the psycho Delic, but I say Ranger Paul. Uh, I'll uh, take the modest style. Well, they've been, both been great service for Australian boxing for a number of years, Stephen, and they've yes. both conduct themselves with class in and out of the ring. Good moments here for Delic. Oh, Delic got a ripper punch in there on McMahon. I think it was a right hand. It was a crunching punch. Shannon takes a lot to hurt him, but uh, that would have hurt. Uh, that was a crunching right hand for Eddie Delic. And uh, he also got a couple of other uh, punches, two, three, and four in as well, which were quite handy. And the Tom Bowler right from Eddie... I think Ben Scott shattered the shoulder there. So that is he's pushing and shoving here. Eddie, again, doesn't like being in a tangle, Peter. He hates pinches. He wants to be able to stay open so he can fight and box and use his power. He's a power fighter, Eddie Dillon. Eddie now again uh, just uh, chiseling punches into the torso of McMahon at the uh, uh, court uh, in the uh, loop plane to the corner of the ring there. Again, Shannon McMahon over the top. And then in 
to the facial regions and then starts to work downstairs. He uh, does defend well. They get the gloves up, but the centre got a couple through there. He did busy moments here for McMahon. Very busy. And uh, Eddie's uh, stationary virtually in that neutral corner. He needs to possibly get out of there. Oh, he just came out with a big right hand and uh, pushed McMahon back with it. And McMahon went out. He saw a raging ball coming at him again and decided to get away from that push, push, push. situation. Got pushed back onto the ropes there, McMahon, by Delic. And Delic again is flying away at McMahon when he gets into a clinch now. A high quality contest here, Stephen. Malcolm was allowing uh, Delic uh, to throw those punches to the back of the head uh, when they pinch pull it. This has been a tough, high quality contest. And Ward McMahon there for an elbow, I think. Or an elbow over the top of the head. I gave that, uh, well, I'm just thinking about it as we speak, because Delic was working there as well. So McMahon, I'll make it easy for people. I scored it to Delic, Delic. He's a warrior. I would say he's like raging bully. I compare him to a Jake Lamotta style fighter. It's a never say die physical strength type fighter who relies on power as much as uh, skill and everything else that goes with a power puncher fighter. Shannon McMahon has very much a jab move and jab dance. Uh, highly skilled individual. He certainly is, Stephen. And here we've seen McMahon trying to get some type of ascendancy here, but Dully. He just walks up, it's tough, tough, oh, tough as teeth. No one at the moment has got uh, ascendancy from that point of view. This fight's wide open at this point. Uh, I've got it close, you've got it very close. So uh, there's a point differential in our scores. And they could go either way. Oh, good moments there from McMahon. Yeah. Oh, yes. And Delic uh, there just had the, uh, the gloves apart and uh, McMahon took advantage of that. Delivered three or four quality jabs there, Peter. That's what scores in points. Uh, Shannon McMahon, he rattles up points by constant uh, 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 attacks of uh, jabbing uh, bunches. This is a bunches in bunches. The, uh, the this is a good period here for McMahon. Yes. Very He's boxing good. beautifully. Very good period for him. And now Delic uh, puts him in the headlock. Nods at McMahon. I think he even gave him some acknowledgement for that uh, last minute's boxing there. Good spirit, this bout's been fought in good spirit. Oh, very much so. The boys know what it's all about, and they wouldn't be surprised if they you know, uh, mates out of the ring. Don't hang in there, don't hang in there, Shannon. There's going to definitely be a rematch. Come on, Shannon, keep on this. The way that these boys are carrying on. Well, the way this is happening, I'm going to have to go out again, though, we think down the track. So, uh, oh, there. Uh, Eddie coming out hard and fast there. Norton's in there close. You better be careful. And Eddie just throws leather around like that. Norton could end up wearing one. Again, forcing Delic back. And now Delic barging forward with the head down. What a, what a joke and what about him, any Delic? I know I'm going back a long way in the 50s. Are going back a long way, uh, he's, he's got a lot of that in him. He's uh, got that old fashioned style of strength and uh, bully boy tactics, I suppose you call it, uh, which I admire, actually. Oh, Tom Bowler, right hand from Delic. Uh, trying to crunch McMahon into the canvas there, but uh, didn't quite work. McMahon saw it. I think the punch landed more on McMahon's back. Good work look. here from McMahon. McMahon there with those jabs coming in again. They're lethal, those gloves. So one thing Eddie can't control with McMahon is that jabbing style. Ran into a right hand there, McMahon. Good punch there from yeah, Delic. punch from Delic, yes. That, that's where Delic has got the... This is what gives him opportunities in fights of this type because he can do more damage with one punch than most boxes can do with 10 or 20. How did you score that now? Well, look, uh, McMahon, again, he could have slanted more scoring punches. Delic hits harder when he hits, but uh, probably not quite hitting enough at the moment. That uh, pounded or a pounded. Round six here at Malvern Town Hall. We're ripping through this fight. Round six here now. McMahon probably slightly ahead on the unofficial card. Judges. Uh, I don't know how they see it at the moment, we have to wait and see, but this is going to be a very close finish, it would appear, from where I'm coming from, the judges will be very close. McMahon and Dalek for the vacant WBF Intercontinental title and the Elite Cranes Cup, the fourth yes. Elite Cranes Cup. Yes, an Elite Prize, an Elite Cup, the Elite Cranes Prize Limited. 
this fight's certainly heating up now, Stephen. There is no what's, feeling what's, out process. Both boys are going for it. Uh, they've gone through what's, the what's, preliminaries. And, uh, they're right down to business. Have been for a while now. Uh, and he's adjusted his trunks there. And comes in with the uh, left hand, trying to work into McMahon. And uh, he's reaching with a jab, trying to set up a right hand here, please. What's, what's, He's trying to set up that big right hand, did he? Mostly if he can land a couple of those, he can cause McMahon some pain and discomfort. McMahon bouncing around and boxing like he does. McMahon knows if he can keep that, um, keep out of trouble and keep on jabbing and jabbing away and landing on the butt, uh, he could rack up points. Gillick, you get the feeling Gillick's got to hurt McMahon with a big punch to slow McMahon up where he can get to it. So far, it just hasn't happened for him, but that was a nice right hand from Eddie. Caught Shannon. It was a nice right hand from Gully. Caught him on the cheek bone, but notice that it didn't have any effect on Shannon. He's bouncing around all right. No, Shannon's very well conditioned. He's definitely done the work. The oh, yeah. are in the legs. Now, who's he got to in this corner? Has he? Or is it, uh, Johnny Larkos has got him in this corner. Johnny Larkos. And, uh, is it Higgy as well? Or so who's no. the gentleman in there with you? That's um, an, another former kickboxer. Uh, Eddie Gullick's got uh, Paul. He's got the silver box. He's been uh, around about the mark for some length of time. He's had some massive champions in there. Oh, this is turning into a bit of a war. It is, uh, it is now. Eddie, now, Eddie's starting to wear a bit of leather with those jabs now. His he's, uh, uh, defence has dropped a little bit uh, at times. And Shannon's been allowed to get in and, uh, and get those jabs right in. Then he throws a nice right there, which stops Shannon in his tracks. But, uh, Eddie's got to keep his defence up for those jabs. Shannon's lethal with those jabs. This is a high quality boxing match, Stephen. It is. I was Eddie never takes a backward step, always moving forward, trying to find, get into range, and he's prepared to wear some leather to try and hit his opponent hard with that right hand in particular to get the chance to set it up. But he's got to try and set it up in just the moment. Shannon's not really allowing him to do that because Shannon moves so well. Keeps moving away, although Shannon has got a bruise the right cheekbone, which will lead ice on it tonight. And he's got a bad bruise or a welt coming up there, Pete. He's got the cuts. And that has been the one that got the on the one word beautifully there. That round to me was pretty even, there wasn't too much in it, but uh, maybe McMahon again. Round seven here at Malvern Town Hall, Eddie Dalek. Shannon McMahon, the rematch, the one we've been waiting for for five years. And we have been waiting for that length of time. It's taken a while for you to negotiate for those boys to get back in the ring, but you finally did it. You're the magician in the negotiations. You've got, it, got them there. And they haven't let us down either. This has been a, a, a grandstand a massive performance. Effort. Look at Shannon McMahon there with those ripping jabs there. Coming on Eddie Delic there. Machine gun style, Shannon McMahon. Shannon the machine gun McMahon. What did you know? Yeah, that could stick, Stephen. Oh, it might. I tried to call him fire off them at one stage a few days but it didn't work. Eddie needs to come in with some big shots in these last three, four rounds, I would tend to think. He's chasing McMahon here, Eddie. He knows he's got to land some more with... Oh, what's he brushing the referee away, Eddie? He can't do that to the referee, Stephen. <laughs> I don't know whether he was... I don't know what he was doing there, but Malcolm's like, they both seem to be brushing each other away, so... I think uh, Malcolm might have got in the way. He might have, yeah. Eddie's trying to get Malcolm to move. Eddie's saying, get out of there, I want to get to him. <laughs> yeah, that's spot on. He wants to get to McMahon, Eddie. Now, Shannon's got something on his eye there. It's a bit of an eye patch or something. The cut have opened up, Stephen. No, it hasn't opened up. No, the, the corner's done a remarkable oh. job with that cut, but there's a, there's a little bandage on it with the adrenaline. I don't know, sticking there to it. Look at Shannon there. He's actually just about talking those punches out there as they leave. Again, uh, cutting in with those jabs down. McMahon's showing the, the range here beautifully here on Eddie. Eddie follows him, but Shannon lands those jabs. Beautiful lateral movement from McMahon, oh, too. Well, Left and right, man. side to side that. movement. An excellent movement to Peter. Uh, side to side lateral. Uh, he's doing everything here. He's uh, dancing well and getting out of the way of Eddie's power. That's what he knew he always has to do that. He knows he's got to do it. Eddie has got a very powerful right hand. Once Eddie lands punches, and he's an aggressive fellow. He loves to land there, the Eddie. He caught McMahon with a left hook on the jaw there. Didn't hurt very much because both boys off balance a bit. Oh, McMahon working. Oh, Delic 
And McMahon actually bent down and nearly fell over the top of him there. And the boys will get themselves back up in this uh, bout. Any presses it up to Eddie there. Must be getting a, a little tired. Round seven. Still got three rounds. Oh, ran right into a right hand there, McMahon. And a big right hand from Eddie. And uh, there, uh, might have grazed to Shannon. Shannon again, uh, Eddie's throwing the right hand when Eddie's tapping now. Eddie's catching him. Ed, Eddie's decided to wear that punishment now to get his right hands in. And try and cause some damage to try and show, slow Shannon up because that's what he needs to do. He gets pushed away this time by McMahon. McMahon coming in again, constantly peppering Delic with those jabs. And at the moment, I'd have to say McMahon's winning this round. And he's doing plenty of good work and a good, very good round all round. But I think McMahon uh, will get some kudos for that jab work. I would tend to think Peter Pepper, uh, Eddie, Peter, his son, Billy, and uh, they're very, very strong willed team. Uh, what a colossus battle this has been, oh, Stephen. Phenomenal battle. It's the Shannon McMahon just, uh, he's just jabs beautifully. There's hardly a boxer around locally. That I can think of who jabs better than Shannon McMahon. I don't think there's anybody. Well, I'm going to take the hat off to both fighters. The intensity hasn't stopped. They've been going the same pace, round one, oh, right up to round this, eight. They this, have not this, slowed down. This was always going to happen, Peter, because these two are very proud men. Very, very proud men. But they're well conditioned men, too, and they've been in the game for a very long time. Both experienced fighters. They both are. had over 20 professional fights each. Who did you give that last round to, Peter? Um. At the moment, I'll score that to Delic, I think. McMahon and Delic working away here. You know, phenomenal performance. Yours for mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a great battle. A great battle. Now, Delic landed a beautiful punch on McMahon's jaw, but while he was doing that, McMahon dropped a jab straight on to the nostrils of Eddie Delic. They're trading blows now at this point. Eddie needs to probably get on, he needs to get an advantage in that uh, uh, situation with uh, the uh, throwing of leather at this point because McMahon could be ahead because of his local jabs. Well, he's going to work here, McMahon. He, he is, but Delic is trying to, again, when he gets in the punches there, he's throwing a little leather, but I don't know whether or not they're scoring punches to that degree. And uh, Malcolm's had a word to Eddie about the forearm. On that occasion. Could we, 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 can we be witnessing the fight of the year again? <laughs> so it could well be. What I've seen of it so far, it's heading in that direction. Oh, McMahon again! <laughs> Those jabs are lethal. I was just about to say, I can't think of another fight I've seen this year. Delic, Delic, oh, Delic, right hand man up by Delic. Delic. From Delic, that right again, hand. Again, Delic! <laughs> it's lethal stuff from any Delic. Lethal punching, but McMahon's jabs also have been fantastic. Look at Eddie there uh, get uh, uh, caught on the ropes because uh, McMahon was just out of there like a will of the wisp. It's like the Scarlet Pimpers. Oh, right hand again from Daly. A massive right hand from Eddie. It was a short, sharp This is a punch. good round for Daly. And another good punch on the back of the head of McMahon. On the McMahon, on, I said by Daly, on McMahon's head. I mean, the, the, uh, the ball isn't worried about it anymore. He's just letting that go, I think. McMahon's got to move his head. He's staying upright and Daly slamming the overhand right and it's costing him the round. <laughs> yeah, it is, but oh, McMahon oh. pushed and jumped around, but Delic again is having a word. And the Malcolm Buller having a solid word to Eddie Delic here. He's not happy and he's warned him about uh, hitting uh, McMahon in the back of the spot, I think. Here goes Delic again working at the body. McMahon had the head down. He's talking to both of them and he's telling them to box properly. Or to box in you know, uh, what he would regard as the proper fashion. Oh, fair but, but, but firm. Yes, very firm there. And Malcolm Buller, he doesn't put up with any rubbish. And uh, he will... Uh, no, he's sorted the business out. Don't worry yes, about that. He's a disciplinarian as far as the rules are concerned. All women see uh, McMahon on the plus that. Uh, Round nine here, Elite Cranes Cup. You've got WBF in the Continental title. McMahon, Delic. McMahon trying to start fast. Oh, McMahon trying to rip straight into Delic here. And they've uh, got the arm bent over in a, some sort of holding fashion, but uh, nothing doing there. I think you've got it uh, a bit, I think you've got it within a point of each other, Pete. I think they might even be square on your card or close to it. That's how close it's been, yeah, Stephen. I can't split them. Massively close, this. Massively close. McMahon again on the attack there. Delic like to get back on the ropes, waiting for the chance to counter punch with that right hand again. Again, he leans 
back in the league frames around the corner there, Delic. But Mahn working uh, Delic into that corner and trying to uh, get some leather going. And I tell you what, the boys must have trained hard to put up this sort of performance. This is phenomenal stuff. This is a grandstand finish, Stephen. Massive, a massive, massive finish. As McMahon uppercut was a beautiful punch there from McMahon. I think it landed on Delic's jaw as he comes into the body. McMahon holding on to the, uh, the right arm of McMahon and using his right arm to punish Delic in the midriff. Wasn't seen by the ref to uh, say anything or do anything about that. Oh, and a nice little jab or uppercut from Delic there in the conscious. Oh, beautiful nice short jab there from jab Delic. Delic. Probably his best jab of the night, that one. McMahon coming in hard. See, Liz, this is a war this fight. Delic again over the top of the right hand. Oh, oh McMahon with a swinging wild right hand. And he nearly took Delic's head off, but Delic uh, tele was telegraphed to him and he uh, managed to keep the head down. Oh, nice jab there from the uppercut from Delic. And shoving McMahon in with that uh, arm. The forearm, the ref doesn't like that. Doesn't like that, the ref with the forearm coming into any part of it. McMahon rapid fire combinations again. Oh, he got him again, and McMahon into Delic there with about three or four jabs. They landed another one in that second part of that fuselage. And Delic gave him a slap on the back of the head for that trouble. And McMahon again coming in, Eddie's pushing McMahon away from him. He's got a glove underneath his jaw. And uh, Eddie trying to, he's listening to instructions from Paul Fifield too there about uh, where we're heading in this uh, round nine. Uh, and oh, toe to toe, stop! Oh, look at these boys go at it now. Eddie Dillon comes in underneath the McMahon's court in a headlock and Bulldog will have to split them. This is a massive fight. They're playing for keeps, Stephen. Oh, big time, Peter. And uh, Oh, boy, it's pretty even this round. Maybe McMahon might have the edge on it, though, because he's got most of the crisper punches in again. So, uh, uh, at the moment, this round... No quarter ass, no quarter given. Oh, no, well, no one's... Uh, no quarter per se. And the McMahon coming in underneath there. Uh, was uh, trying to work in underneath Eddie Delic is coming in hard with that right hand again he tried to crunch it right hand but it landed on the McMahon's shoulder and Bulldog tries to split them and there goes the bell for the end of the round now but it's a McMahon round in my book his, his lethal jabs are just being absolutely devastating on Eddie Delic in this fight and that's uh, I believe the way the judges might eventually look at it Tenth and final round here Stephen Malvin Town Hall WBF Intercontinental title, oh, yes. Elite Brains Night, the fight, the replay of the fight of the year five years ago, Shannon McMahon and Eddie Delic, touch gloves and away they go. Oh, here they go for this round, team and this phenomenal bout here as McMahon comes in hard on Eddie Delic. Oh, I'm so worked up, I couldn't even work out your scorecard, Pete, I'm in the state of mesmerisation as Delic is on the back of the Both race. boys haven't eased up. Uh, McMahon's coming in hard, Delic's trying to defend here. This the pace is ferocious! Oh, McMahon's come out hard, he wants to get the initial advantage in this first part of the last round. Eddie Delic are blowing for a bit of air there at this point. He well, comes in hard with the left there, and lands on top of McMahon. McMahon is the one who started the crisper at the moment. Again gets the jabs in. Eddie's going to need to land a big right of some description, or a big punch of any description at this point, I think, to try and win this bout. Unofficially, of course, the judges, uh, they could see it any which way. It could go either way. I think McMahon's got a slight lead because of his lethal jamming. McMahon now bouncing around. Delic going back there towards the ropes there. He knows those jabs are lethal, but can he get some accuracy going with the right hand? There's got to be a rematch here, Stephen. There will be. I see rematch be. written all over. <laughs> we all do. We'd have to see that. But the fighters, they're so even. Uh, they are. Oh. Delic there is trying to maul McMahon when he was off the canvas, trying to flick him a little bit there and wanted to keep going. Now, uh, Malcolm Bull is unhappy with some spillage over in that corner there, I think, and he's kind of pointing at the corner to clean up their mess. And so uh, now McMahon comes McMahon in. McMahon charges it, he wants action! <laughs> and he got some jabs going in repetition fashion. He got more of uh, repetition power uh, into those jabs. He goes to canvas with a slip. Now, uh, there is a uh, ball that comes in. And uh, wipes the uh, gloves. The ring is very slippery now because there's been a lot of spillage on it tonight. That's probably causing the boys to slip over. Now Delic comes in hard. He's got a couple of minutes left or less than that now to try and do something uh, to... Uh, what a fight we have this witnessed. Fight, I would tend to think, just my opinion. Uh, but McMahon, now he's happy to dance at this point in time because dancing uh, is where uh, he's uh, scored for a very skilled lap and uh, happy to be tied up at this latter part of the bout. He might think he's done enough work to win at this point. Delic now, uh, 
very static in that corner there. He needs to get out and move and to get some punching room. He pushes McMahon's head down, and he, and he doesn't look comfortable to me at this point in time. Doesn't look, yes. Doesn't We've look got celebrities in the crowd. They yeah, all love George, George Defros. The uh, well-known lawyer there is present. And what did Malcolm do there? Did he take a point off or not? I don't think he did. No, he did it. Terry Wallace in the crowd as well. Terry Wallace, Richmond and Bulldogs coach, ex- Paul Trimboli. Paul Trimboli. Soccer and player, and of course, Peterson. Mike Peterson, the soccer player. They're all here tonight. And a bevy of beautiful women. <laughs> As per usual. But uh, your promotions, Peter, is the boys there. Wild there, Dalek. He was wild with the right hand. Hey, Lucky yeah. McMahon duck. Yeah. Oh, but the punch missed by a fair margin, Pete. Dalek's got to work in it. McMahon hammers away at the top again. And the boys are in a, a clinching situation, but still able to throw leather. They've got just enough room. And he goes the bell for the end of the war. What a fight! A war that we just saw. McMahon and Dalek, they talk to each other. They hug each other. In true sportsman style. And uh, a lot of feeling and a lot of goodwill as well as everything else to go with it. And, um, gee whiz, that was some Peter Hackett in the crowd there too. What a great fight that was. And the crowd are on their feet. Uh, giving uh, these boys uh, a lot of uh, uh, applause for what uh, has been a monumental effort. And uh, Peter, you're in the ring there now, spoken to by Howard Lee, is uh, just uh, interviewing you as he just got into the ring to have discussions uh, with the, uh, the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Andrew Campbell has a 97-93. Judges Anita Williams, Peter Flaherty, both have it 98-92. Yon UWBF, Intercontinental Light Middleweight Champion, Blue Corner. Fantastic victory there to Eddie Dillick. What a great performance there. He got home. The judges have looked at his power, uh, especially with that right hand, and he's got home here. A great performance. He's very happy here. Shannon McMahon will be disappointed, as you'd expect, uh, with the, his uh, uh, effort there. But a rematch will uh, have to be in mind. Matty Thomas and Mingano handle Eddie Dillick, the big trophy there for a great performance. And he'd be a very happy man, Eddie Dillick. There is Mick Croucher puts that monumental belt around his waist for his uh, superb victory here tonight. And what a great performance uh, that has been here tonight from Eddie Jellick in this WBF Intercontinental uh, Championship belt. And he will now go on to a potential world title fight, Eddie Jellick, here in the middle of the ring with Mick Gatto, Matt Thomas, Mick Croucher there, Howard Lee uh, there, Paul Fivefield comes in, the winning trainer, of course, uh, flexing the torso there, as happy as Larry, and he would be a very happy man there, Paul Fivefield. I didn't think his boy had done enough to win, but what a great effort that he has uh, put together here tonight, a great victory, and uh, uh, what more could you possibly say, Howard Lee there is about to make some comment. Hey, Brandon! Eddie, uh, congratulations. Mick Crouch and Peter Manios have just announced this will have a third match. It'll be for a world title. Oh, yeah, sounds pretty good to me. I don't want to sit down and have a chat with yeah. the management before, obviously. I don't like to rush into things. No. It's a team thing, actually. You know? I might be in here doing all the fighting and that, but um, it's not for my corner, the best corner in the bloody world, mate. Who have we got there, Ed? Paul Blyfield, Brendan Party, Big Wave, my little baby brother, Dean, Suffer, Bash, all the boys in the gym, mate. Love is all. Albert, everyone, mate. Thanks a lot, guys. Great. Well, I've got the mic. It's not a safety thing, so it's a good. First of all, thanks, Shannon. Good fight. Two fights now have been pretty tough, man. And it's a good fight again, mate, guys. It's going to be another hard fight. Um, yeah, very tough. Thanks to Shannon, this morning. Thanks, Peter, mate. Thanks for having the show. Awesome, mate. Yeah, you know, um, tough fight. Got beat. Been beat before. Unlike to lose, but a better man won on the night. Credit to Eddie, he's a warrior, Eddie's team, Eddie's supporters, all the best, you know, uh, to all my supporters, they're all still here, most of them, especially the ones that love me, I love all of them, and uh, good people, whether you're up or down, you know, I love fighting, it's hard for me to stop, you know, who knows, we're just going and have a bit of a rest, and see where we go from here, just like to thank the sponsors, Mick and the game, thank you very much. Thanks, Peter. He's been a lot of and And thanks to all the fans. Love you there. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.